Hi. All right, you bring it more close towards you. That's it. Bring it like right in front of you. So like when you're talking, looking right here, your camera is right there. Okay. So you make contact with the people. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mo. Uh, this is not. This is not working. You want a demonstration? How it's done? Yeah. All right. Okay. See, your camera's right here, right? So, camera right here. Camera's right there. This dude's nervous. That's what it is. He he's live on stage with a Titan. That's what it is. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the podcast. I am Mo. I am Tiff. <laughs> 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 Next! <laughs> what the? Uh, You're not Tiff. What you, what? Recording. Everything cool over there, little yeah, boy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, I told you, be yourself, man. You ain't got to be. What's going on? <laughs> we gonna try to go up a few out of that. I ain't tough. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, welcome back to the podcast. I am Mo. And I am Jay Mo. Better. <laughs> it's a lot better, man. <laughs> get a. Uh, like though, like when you did it, you were like J Mo better, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so it's kind of like you, you, you were uh, J Mo better, you know. It's, it's, it's just, you, you could just easily say, "Hey, I'm J Mo." Yeah, is that rolls on. J Mo better, you know. <laughs> Well, Jay, I told because I, I it's crazy how it looked, like my wife was just talking about she loves when I come through the house and I call him J Dub, you know. Dub mean and okay, we we're gonna go, you know, hoodology, you know, sort of game or two. So so sort of game, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Dub mean is when you get a win. That's why I call him J Dub. Supposed to be getting wins. Supposed to be winning. J means to win in my book. You know, um, that's why I call him J Dub. I speak those things over him. If you checked out our last podcast on labels, I label him daily whether he knows it or not. <laughs> Although J Dub is fire though. Um <laughs> be my uh deep name. I think J Dub can go universal, you know, due to the fact that uh, you know, as a bishop, DJ Cali will say, <laughs> all I do is dub, dub, dub. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But winning, that's what it's about. And it's also about the losses, too. Wins are losses. If you checked out our last podcast on wins and losses, that was a shot point. Go check out the wins and losses. Did you check out the wins and losses? I checked it out with you. Did you check it out by yourself, I though? Not. It's unfortunate. What's up? It'd be your own people. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be your own people, man. It'd be your own people that will not go check out your stuff. Um, but... No, we we're we're kind of used to it. Babe, did you check out the podcast? Uh, I'm wait to uh, me 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 Tiff get on uh on set so we can figure out if she checked out the podcast. I did it. Didn't. We're gonna start finding y'all. <laughs> they gonna be a part of the squad and not check the podcast out. Welcome back to the podcast. I am <laughs> Mr. Mo. And I am Tiff. You did my part. Welcome back to the podcast. Like, why are you supposed to do your one thing? Last time I did, you said, oh. let me finish though. You know, and welcome to the Mo and Tiff podcast. You know, I got to do my thing. You need to let me finish. You let me finish. You know, that's my thing. I wanted to introduce the people. 
you let me finish. Because you just did it, though. Like, you just did. Like, welcome back to the podcast. Is that how it always goes? Yeah. <laughs> I can literally have my editor cue that up. Um, well, yeah. And this is episode number... What? Three? Right? Season three is what I was... Season three. Episode 42. Thank you. <laughs> and we are back on task right about now. Uh, last week, we didn't drop an episode. Did not. kind of wanted the episodes to breathe and also for my wife to heal up. What? Oh, I was injured last week. Yes, she was very injured last week. I could have still talked with no, my injuries. No, no. Oh, no. yeah. You were on your... Yeah. Ah, ah, put that up under there. <laughs> Just, so I didn't. I really didn't want to uh, push the. I didn't want to torture you. Don't talk about me. And no. our lovely I'm... people who support us. I didn't want to. Uh, okay. Can you hear me fine? Am I loud? I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. Do you want to start wearing headphones so you can probably hear myself? Kind of hear how you probably. sound. Probably. Yes. All right. We will accommodate that for the next episode. Um, do you have a? Oh, never a dull moment? Definitely. Boy, she's going to get it. Don't Definitely do. She's touched everything today. Everything today. I done been everything. I done been the mama, the wife. I done did all of it. I done did all of the things today. Um, Never a dull moment. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> it, in reference to my injury. Wow. Mo sister too. Her response was, you ain't got no cast. Where your cast at? Said I ain't need one. Well, what you do to your arm? See, you have to give the people more context of what happened. Okay, to your so arm. okay, I do. My bad. They do not know do not understand. What happened Don't know. To okay, arm. so that was last weekend. Well, I had some friends. Um, that, out of state friends, right? No, they were in state. Out of city friends. Out of city friends. Out of city friends. Okay. Out of city friends. And so. How many um, of them? Come on, you gotta get three. people context, right? You ain't even let me finish. Okay. I was trying to give history first. Just because I want to shout them out. Oh my goodness. I was trying to, you know. Do you think? Okay. So I had some friends that came into town. Um, it was three of my girlfriends from high school, actually. So we have reached 20 years. Wow. So our 20 year reunion. Two decades. Yeah. Our 20 year reunion celebration is coming up like next weekend. That's our marriage plus 10 years. But I go ahead. <laughs> I, my skill. I feel like you've been up for a very long time. So, um, <laughs> So they came into town. They had their babies, their girls. Well, two of them had had daughters. One of them, her kids are old, the older. Um, and so, like, we got together and um, we were trying to. We were all. I was trying to meet up to go eat, but yeah, body just wasn't feeling that. So we met up to take the kids skating. Mm-hmm. So they did well, they did the arcade, but before they could do the arc before they could do skating, they had to spend up all the arcade money. So, you know, that went real quick. Um, and then <laughs> like that was how it went. Like, yeah, they they blew through it. So then um it was like the talk amongst us, you know, us 30 year olds, because I'm the oldest. Like they made it very known that I'm the oldest, made it very known that both of our girls look just like me and act just like me. Like they made that all the way known. That's a first. Um, yeah. Like as soon as I walked in, they just fell out laughing. So I ain't get no love at you all. Ain't get no love at all. It was Ooh. like that's a little bitty tiff because these are people that I have known beyond 20 years. You know something. Because I've yeah. known them since elementary school. So like we have like the span of the friendship is super long, but like we've just been out of high school for 20 years. Like we've known each other for years, like since, like I say, great, like pre like kindergarten, mm. first grade, like that type of stuff. So, um, so they knew the, you know, how most is the one 
look like me when I was younger. Mo sister too has the rounded of the face, like you know. So that was where they were coming from because they've known me super long. So they're different stages of you. Yeah. So they've yeah they've seen that from little bitty all the way up to now, pretty mm -hmm. much. So we skating. Well, we decided okay, let's put on skates because we used to skate. I mean, that was one thing we did every Saturday. We you skated. Talked about it. Like you yo, talked about this. like it was not just simple skate it was like go to the mall find an outfit matching outfits wide leg flare leg jeans vest sleeveless like we were matching color coordinated every saturday skating ring type thing like it was serious so you know of course like, like roll bounce <laughs> I can't. Roll bounce <laughs> wasn't even out back then. Like, they came years later. But we skate like we get on the skates. And I was like, I don't know about this. Like we all kind of like, uh. And um, so, Mo Sister won. No fear. Oh, I got this. Give me the little thing. So she just getting it. Mo Sister 2, I'm like, see, I really don't want to skate, y'all. I'm putting on skates because I know my child. Mm. My child is not about to deal with no new people. Because <laughs> they already done hit me with the, hey, you know them? Just in case. Yes, I do. So you know their names. Just in case yes. you call dad. So do you know, <laughs> like, this is all the questions. Like, this is the bathroom. This is before we even, like, get inside all the way. You know their names. You, you, you went to school with them? Yes, I know their names. Those are their daughters. Like we we cool. So I ended up falling on the skates. Now I didn't fall on the floor like while skating. I made it around a couple of times with our kids. But it was slow, but I made it around. I fell getting off the floor, going after my sister one, who is by the way, holding on to the little whatever you call it handle thing like the the uh, the skate buddy i think is what it is holding on to the little skate buddy and she zooms off the floor well there's nobody on the, off the floor you know i don't do people like that with our kids when it's a whole lot of people like so i'm like going toward her soon as i come off the floor my foot hit like the little concrete piece because most skating rings if you've never gone they're wooden floors yeah. and then it's carpet so like when you go up it's like a little stopper you can go on not this one not this one this one is straight up tile floor just plain towels which is crazy right like school school towels without the lines is really what it is and then to get off it's a piece of concrete that is painted yellow like yes you do see it like yes i saw it so i'm like okay bet and then i kept wondering why most of the one was like uh -uh, i don't like that part so she would go like real, real slow Smart so job. like she already knew because like they had been skating not too long ago but you know I'm like, okay, I'm cool. I, don't, I didn't like the floor. I didn't like any of that. So I ended up falling. And when I fell, I knew I didn't want to fall on my hip. Okay. So I, when I went down, I went down straight forearm, like on my right forearm. And I went down and I hit it hard. Like I hit it hard. I was able to get up. I wasn't like hurt. I didn't hear anything snap or anything like that. But I went down hard. Like I went down super hard. But I wasn't the only adult. Let me disclaim. I wasn't the only adult who went oh, down. Oh, snap. There were tons of adults who went down. She okay? pulling out receipts. So, um... So I went down and I could tell that I was hurt and I could tell I was going to be hurt, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Okay. So, um, and I went down on the carpet part. So I'm thinking yeah, I should be okay. But then I really wasn't okay. So then, um, I made it through that night and then Sunday I was like, eh, I'm good. Let me just, and then I'm like, no, let me just go ahead and go to urgent care. Because yeah. I was like, I didn't want to be at work. And then, you know, I'm hurting and I got to leave. Hold up. You said what? Huh? You said what? I was going to put ice on there. Oh, in my, <laughs> oh, in my mind. Because I said I was going to put ice on it. And you gave me this look. And then when I got in the car by myself, I was like, nah. You might as well just go and go because you're going to be hurting. I, I knew that I was going to get to work Monday doing the most and then be hurting. So that was why I was like, never mind. I'm just going to go ahead and go to urgent care. 
You seem so upset when I told you to Because I did not want to go. I don't like going to Earth she Care because it takes, it takes at least Tooth two and, and a half nail. hours. It takes two and a half hours to sit in there, even though I'm setting an appointment. And so I, I didn't want to go. I'd rather take that than you walk around here and your arm out of socket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew it. Well, it you wasn't out of socket. But, um, so... I come back from, you know, she checks it in. So, you know, of course, they looking at me real funny because they're like, you did what you was doing? How, how you do that? I was skating. Oh, well, you good. You close to four. Yeah, I'm close to four and I was skating. They was like, well, we, I won't even get on skates. So you did good getting on skates. And the sad part is I would do it again. But as long as it was a wooden floor, like mm. that's that's as long as it's a wooden floor, I would I would get out there again if in a different, you know environment how did you feel when you was out there like was, was you groove like the old no stuff? i couldn't because i had i had a nun skater so like i mean i was going around i went around one time by myself but it was still you know keeping my eye on the girls because it was a lot like it was it was packed it was a lot of people it was teenagers it was adults you know it was a lot of younger smaller kids so it was just it was packed so you know I me mean. like i said i don't do people with my children so you know, it was like keeping my eye at all times. Now, they went around a couple of times because after I fell, I was like, let me chill out. Because I didn't want to do it again trying to catch this one over here. That one right there. She over there to the side of me. She over there. Her, her okay. over to my right. Bless you. And so, um, when I came in from urgent care, you know, most sister T, where your cast at? Like, so, like, we betting for a cast? <laughs> She probably, uh, she probably just want to draw on it. That's what I was thinking. But this, is, but I'm gonna say in the back of my mind, I'm like, ooh, yo, it'll be real cool to go in. I got a cast and the kids can write. Like that was my mind. But then the the adult side of me was like, nah, you've never, <laughs> you've never had a broken bone and you don't want one. You know what I'm yeah. So like then it became okay, a cast would be kind of cool, but I'm too old to have a broken bone and I've never ever broken any bones so like i didn't want to go through that so yeah mo most of the two just you know well nobody told you to put on the skates and go skate with us <laughs> like that was what i was getting like i was getting the like she is truly her mom. she yeah she like she read me real good and grandma she read me and i was like well you can't skate and and, and, and i had man. friends that was trying to skate with you who could skate real <laughs> good on any kind of flow Cause my friend we call her Auntie Rika, cause her, you know, like I said, all her kids. She had two kids in college, and then one is a senior in high school. Auntie so, Rika, like Auntie Rika was like still she could get it, like she was still like had it. And shouts out to Auntie Rika. Man. And so she was trying to take the girls around. Her and Auntie Ashley, like they, you know, they had the kids on lock. Me, close, yeah, I sit down, you know. But they made it clear, you the oldest. Now, Auntie Rika did go down. Now. I can't. She did go down. Yeah, well, I got a picture of her going down. I ain't going to put her out there like that. But I got, yeah. So, and there's a picture of me when I went down. You're trying to get back up, but you know. So. I'm going to need those we fall nah, down pictures. We're not. <laughs> nope. We already, we already said there were certain yeah. pictures we would not post. And they didn't. We just did the group shot. Oh, skaters just the same. No. Yeah. <laughs> not a skater. No. <laughs> Couldn't say that. <laughs> Come on, I feel this thing. <laughs> but all in all, we had a good time. And my arm feels better. I did wear a sling. Yeah. Uh, she was in pain for quite a while. Yeah, it was. Uh, it just so. got, like, I just was able to, like, work out. Was that Friday? Yeah. Saturday. Friday. And she was doing so good, too. So I think it's good for her not to be in pain. And, you know, because she. She was just so awkward with different positions. Yeah, it was because it was the right arm. Was, arm like know, out of all the arms, it was the arm that she <laughs> actually shoot jumpers with. So <laughs> you got jokes. <laughs> ah, snap. You got jokes. <laughs> ah, let's get to the day's topic. Got jokes. Today's topic is, and we were talking about <laughs> this. You know what that? We were talking about because <laughs> I know my wife. She'll drink that and be like, oh my gosh, this is so nasty. What are we talking about today? Oh, um, yeah. We are talking about is it hard, uh, difficult oh, being a believer? If you see me looking over here, I'm checking more. Look, 
checking, make sure everything is good, you know. But I'm still talking to y'all as I'm checking on this too. Um, I told y'all last time my screen was over here, but to the right, left. But is it difficult or is it hard to be a believer? And I started off asking a few of these few mentees that I was mentoring that. And they said it was, it's hard. So I wanted to bring it to the podcast because I said, maybe they're not the only person who think that, you know, being a believer or serving God or being on God's side, being on God's side, being a believer, yeah. the same thing. Um, is it hard? You know, like, so I said, let me bring it to you. Yeah, of course. You know. uh, I thought she was going to say, no, I thought you were going to finish up. No, I thought you were going to say something, bringing to you to, you know, I thought you were So I was bringing, to, yeah. bringing it to you so you can elaborate from your standpoint. I know we had a few people, the people I talked to, when they said that it was hard, it was because they were, I guess, at di- when you're at different crossroads in your life, I think it becomes a lot of things become hard, mm. and I think it's about priority. Stop. She's good, mm. and I think it's about priority. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I wanted to hear your take on it because you are around. I mean, you're you're the leader of FCA. Mm-hmm. You deal with the youth all the time, all day. Uh, we deal with youth quite often, all, all, all day, and um. With you being in FCA, I know you've heard. Well, I know you've seen mm-hmm. children really struggle in this area. Yeah, right. Well, youth, I don't want to say children, but youth struggle in this area. Right. And if youth is struggling, I believe definitely adults are struggling in this yeah, area. Yeah, I would I'm definitely. So, more. your take on this, wife? Um,. You want like from just from what I like what I see or like my my response? Uh, just from let's go from what you see. Um, I think it is like for the youth that we co- or the youth that I know I personally come in contact with. I think that it is a very difficult thing to um, like follow God or or. I'll say, I'll say not really follow him, but stay consistent in following. So when you are in the group that I deal with, which are the middle school age children, middle school, high school, and like in between. So when you're doing, when you're talking about, is it hard to follow God in that particular preteen? Well, yeah, preteen and teenage time frame, you're up against so much because you're seeing and you're exposed yeah. to so much the trends and the fads. I'll call it that the trends and the fads of what's going on and, and what they see and what their peers are doing and what their peers think like all of that plays a important factor because so many times is not the issue of following God but it's the it's the issue of staying consistent with it Mm. so it may be choice in music it may be oh well everybody's doing this so I know what I'm supposed to do and what the Bible says you know and you know you mentioned with FCA yeah and that's fellowship of Christian athletes for people that aren't aware um, you have parents that are teaching and raising their children biblically. You have the kids that are actually going to, you know, the middle school or high school nights at, you know, our local, mm-hmm. one of the local churches here. Gotcha. Um, and then, you know, some of the other programs that they have for youth. And then you have them coming to FCA. So it's not the idea that they don't follow God, but it's just they lack the consistency because they're trying to keep up with what their peers are doing and they don't want to um or i get a sense that they don't want to be isolated or set apart in the instance they still want to do those things that um kids typically do around this age and i think that's the that's the big part that I tend to see is, oh yeah, I know that's not right. Oh yeah, my mom or my dad or whoever 
no, they would not agree with this, but I still do it because like okay. my friends. Well, let's, let's speak to um, why was it? What took you so long to get to the point of, OK, I want to now stay consistently connected to God? Like, I mean, it was that very thing. Like everybody was doing. I mean, growing up. Yeah, I knew I knew that god existed i knew you know i was saved at a young age you know baptized you know because i was baptist so you know when mama says this is what we're gonna do you know when when mama say this is what we're doing this is what we're doing like it was me and my cousins like i remember it like i would think i was like 10 11 somewhere around there so i remember that but church for me was you know i never i didn't get what I think I, if under a different teaching, I'll put it that way. If under mm. different teaching, maybe I could have gotten more because then I didn't get anything. I mean, we pa- we wrote on the programs and passed notes around, like that's what we did. You know, not on stuff. the pews, like that's <laughs> that's what we did. Like I couldn't go to sleep, so I was gonna write some notes and I was gonna color. Uh, every now and then, I might I might try to take like notes from the sermon but that wasn't my thing like i couldn't that was not my learning style let's say that i i was not learning what i probably could have been learning so then when i started to know god for myself it was still like well i'm 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 in now like so everybody else doing if if everybody else going to the party like i want to go to the party if you know Mm. This is what everybody, because I was a late starter for certain things because most of my friends had already done so much. I was the late starter. So I felt like, oh, I got to catch up. Like, I got to play the catch up Which game. Which is sad because honestly, like, you're not missing out on basically anything. Right. And um, I think for me, <laughs> see, I was a drummer. And I think that was probably the only thing that really kept me lightweight connected as far as in church because I grew up with the love for music. I grew up with the love for the sound of music, the the just the overall thing of music. So when I learned how to play the drums, self taught. Um I only went to church to play the drums. Like if you ask me what did the what did the preacher preach today um <laughs> i could i couldn't tell you nothing because most of my mind was was focused on playing the drums and different other stuff like that i think it was like my innocent time in um in church before i got corrupted <laughs> yeah, because but, you started out different. Like you started out in the church, and you then know, you went. I mean, forcibly. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? So for me, like, get your tail was, up. <laughs> like I went, like we went. I, I mean, I was, I was usher. I was on the usher bowl. Uh, no, no, no. Hold up. First of all, <laughs> usher, being an usher and a drummer is I two totally different things. That was you know, like it, it's well, two different I, things. But I also, too, this is crazy because this is what a lot of people don't know. This I don't even know if you know this. Um, but I also taught children's church for a nice little stint. Hence, um, FCA from the beginning. So I actually did children's church. I, I mean, I don't forget about it, but I know like the idea to teach. But even then, there was that struggle of really trying to. I think it was like find my footing. It was really finding my footing, but I go back and I always say the teaching that we've been getting right now for the last what the twelve years, eleven years, no eleven years. Yeah. The teaching we've been getting for the last eleven years. Have I had that? <laughs> then, then I would be like ah. And then I also said too, like not knowing that when I was in college here. The house that I always admired and I loved it because of the the overdrive way. Uh That person actually was a part of the church 
that we are members at now. And when I would see all the cars, it was because they were doing women's fellowship at that time. Oh, and it was okay. like, dang, had I known that, I would I could have just walked across the street. Like, yeah. you know, so it's it's really it's really having a made up mind. Like, so following God, it, I mean, it is, it's a choice. Like, either you're going to do it or you, you're not. Like, yes. either I'm going to wear this dress or I'm not going to wear it. Like, it's really, for, and I say it like it's so simple because to me, it is that simple. Like, it is. But we can't, like, I'm going to tell you. Okay, let, 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 let me go ahead and get in here. I'm about to get in here now because I think we can speak that way because we have that sold sold out made up mind now so but like if, if i'm gonna be honest if i'm gonna be honest with you, and, and those who who are in this will understand like i understand why it's difficult i know the mindset of why it's difficult and oh, this yeah. is because when i was in sin i loved being in sin like when I when I was yeah, yeah, fully yeah. disconnected from God, me thinking I was disconnected, even though in my sin he still was there, but it was all I always felt like it was a tug on me, regardless of the situation. No matter how far I went, I felt like it was some type of tug. But to be honest, I loved what I did. Like I had the women, I had the girls. I mean, I I had the money. I had the the local fame like um i loved it it's and just, i thrived yeah. in it like heavy like see, i was different like i mean i went out i drank but like it wasn't the fate like it wasn't the favorite so like when i did it like i had fun like i, I right. mean i enjoyed it i had fun but it wasn't like Oh, I can do this all the time because there will be times they like you going out tonight. Nah, not tonight. Like it was easy for me to. It was easy for me to say, no, I'm not gonna do this, and no, I'm not gonna do that. Even though, like I, 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 I and I think I like going i think i like clubbing because i was able to get cute i was able to get like fully dressed fully dolled up and all of that but that was it like i didn't like i didn't like the crowdedness i, I hated coming out smelling like smoke i kept going they did use the smoke in like say. i did not like the smoking <clears throat> the the uh, the fighting the mm -hmm. like the crawling like the crawling i remember having the low crawl out of a club because they were shooting and, and and brawling like so i didn't love it but i kept doing it because it was just what was the familiar that that was the thing that was most familiar with i think life well because because honestly <clears throat> i think the most difficult thing is because we love our sin and it's something that we don't want to give up or replace with anything because at that time it's our comfort space. Yeah. It's something that when we go to sleep and wake up, it's still yet there. Right. And it's it's always going to be difficult to follow, number one, something that you haven't really experienced for right. yourself. Yeah. And that, that was a part. And too. I think that's where the, if you haven't experienced experience it from yourself, you always heard about it. You always heard to people mm -hmm. talking about how good god is let me tell you how good he is oh, like jesus <laughs> and when you know the 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 church rhetoric too right when you like you know i think when dad was talking about today even though it was a joke but honestly you know if the pastor got revved up it's only about 10 more minutes and the church is over that's it so you got you used to when it was coming up and coming like yeah it's that's it. it i mean you're like you we and were trained what, for that yeah you know so but in the world and in our sin i think we were always taught okay no 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 but i don't think we were given no with guidance like if don't don't go sleeping around because you can really uh ruin your marriage because what you take you talking about running marriages but shoot it was like don't get married which like wow. yeah uh, but, that's what but, what, know, but this is what i'm saying yeah so i think loving our sin 
like I understand it because it is it's so it's toxic, but it's addicting too. Yeah. It's something that always lure you back to yourself. Even when you think you about to get like, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. After this night, because you know you just had the worst night. <laughs> you know, it. dude shot up the club. That's I it. remember a uh a club I was in and the uh the bouncer got shot in the head. Oh God. And I'm like, I'm done. Like I'm not going. I'm not going to the club no more. I'm done. And you went. Then it was like, hey, let's go to Akron. It's a club. <laughs> I'm going to leave the city. I'm going to leave the city. We, hey, we going to leave the city. But ultimately, it was always option. It was always choices. Yeah. So for me, loving my sin made it difficult to love God. Because yeah. you can't love your sin and, yeah. and then say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love my sin and God at the same time. It's yeah. impossible. And I think for me, like, because I knew I was... Because I knew I was doing wrong, then no, I'm not trying to go to church because I already know that this ain't right. But yeah. nobody had to, like, nobody said, hey, don't go clubbing. Like, my mom would say, hey, don't be no drinker or, you know, you're going to be an alcoholic. Like, she would say those things, but, like, it was never like, hey, you shouldn't drink because. Right. Like, you know, I'm like, what? It's just a fruity drink. You know, like I had all of the reasonings and all the excuses behind it, but that was pretty much it. But I knew, hey, I'm not trying to step in the club on a Sunday. And I just stepped out the club. I mean, stop not trying to step in church on a Sunday when I just stepped out of the club and I can't get the smoke out of my hair and I'm not going to wash my hair because I just, yeah. like, you know, so it was just certain things where I knew that I wouldn't do. But most of it was because. I didn't know God for myself. Like Damn. I knew, well, I knew him. I, I knew, I definitely knew how to pray. Cause when I got in the bind, I was like, okay, Lord, I ain't doing that no more. Just Lord, if you just get me out of this one, I ain't going to do it. And I know that we, I did. Oh, I could, I can probably count on fingers, toes, triple times. How many I did that? How many times I did that prayer? Like I will <clears> never <throat> do like, if you get me out of this one, I, you know, or it, it was like, Lord, Ooh, Please don't let this be the result because I know I I know I wasn't right. Yeah. And so in that moment, it was still like I wanted the goodness, but then I didn't know how to leave it because I didn't have the, the correct. And like you said, the instructions or the proper teaching to guide you out of it. Yeah. Like there was no like. You know, we get life applications in church. There were no life applications. Yeah, you never had no life your applications. Your life applications came from your parents, not from the pastor. Yeah. Like my 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 old I don't remember getting life applications. I remember the the high and then I remember it, you know, the and I know okay, we, we, gotta, get, and we gotta get ready to get out of here. Like Y'all I knew, don't hear me. And I knew we was gonna have some food. Yeah. So you know, like and I think it, it it makes sense why when the Bible talks about um, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times as a child, speaking yeah. as a child mean that um, it's difficult for you to speak in as, as an adult if you mm -hmm. never had those, those experience. Mm -hmm. If you never really, you know, like understood and I think we just have back then when, when I think about it we just had a misunderstanding of who God really is like nobody like for 12 years well, 11 12 years however long we've been here we've had everything broken down to us in a way that was just like wow like so you can under, like okay you can wrap your head around it but not only broken down but walked out right I've seen people break the word down, but their walk was totally different. Right. So then I'll be like, you know, I would be the person to be like, okay, screaming, you know, church hurt. But then I had to realize, no, it is is it's just like any other hurt that you will receive on a job or anything mm -hmm. else. It's people hurt. It yeah. has nothing to do with the church. The church is just the building. A lot of times people say, you know, I got church hurt. No, you didn't. You got people hurt. Yeah. You, you can't hurt, blame yeah. you. You can't sit there and blame the church no, when it's one person who actually did the the hurt. Mm -hmm. But um, 
And honestly, we just loved our sin. And we were like, when I went to the club, it's because number one, I was singing or or I, I was performing or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then when I started performing with celebrities, like well known people, it 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 got even more like okay, yeah, I I started loving my sin even more. Right. Like I was like, oh yeah, like, I I can really feed off this if I wanted to. Right. It's like okay, stardom is around the corner so i know for a fact but then i always did like what most other people do when i blow up <laughs> then i'm gonna get saved <laughs> no you're not you're not if you blow up you just gonna blow you're up just gonna blow you're up. not and, 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 i mean it not that it can't happen but the likelihood of it happening at that point like the enemy doesn't play for uh, let goes hmm. he plays for keeps so if he has you in his clutches, like I understand even more now when the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. If you ever understood what a wage is, it's a bet. It's like a bet. I like understand the wages, which means you pay for the sin. Like I understand more now, like why Jesus had to die mm -hmm. to to literally pay that debt off. Right. But we still place that bet for that sin so You're the wages it. of sin is death like we, at yeah. first i didn't understood it like yeah. i might be like you you know sin is bad but like when you hear that the wages of sin is death yeah it makes you like look you look at it different. like you're placing the bet that you're never gonna win yeah like it's it's going like it's, it's literally going to the slot machine <laughs> and your little coins <laughs> you putting your coin pulling the lever and you never like you never hit it it's um, like playing uh 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 shooting craps you know what i'm saying it, it's snake eyes all day and that's what to me what sin is and i always tell you like sin to take you way further then you want to go and keep you longer than where you longer than what than you, you want to stay. And I think, I mean, and, and that's that part where it can get uh, difficult to follow Christ because you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm all the way in. Like yeah, I knew that, like, like I knew for me, like I was in, but like I went like how you talk about, like I was all in, like like my end yeah. was not your end, like you all in, like I was still like, eh. like I was still, if you, like if I go back, there were still parts that was like, okay, you still got the good girl part. Like there were still some parts where it was, like I said, that's why I think for me, it was so easy to say i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do this I, all right I'm, I'm cutting all of this out i think that was why it was so easy for me to just kind of cut ties this is great because you you caught me at the all in stage like yeah like you were all in and i'm like i'm like but i think that's why it was like that for me because <laughs> i was so much it's great because you caught me at the i'm cool on god you stage was, like, you I'm, like, I'm cool with that dude and i'm like, like I'm, I'm 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 ready now i'm like, cool I, man he, he cool. cool he cool <laughs> that's what you would say like like literally he cool but i ain't yeah. but i'm sitting up here like okay you ain't but i am so i'm done like but it was just like because it was getting it was getting me nowhere and i mm -hmm. think that's where yeah. if like with the young people that we always that we talk to like if you could see that what you're doing just because you're following the crowd like if yeah. you could see that like is is it looked like it's worth it but it is really not like it, it it really is not all all of the hype because like i like getting dressed up i i love you know i love music and i love dancing like that was my thing but it was like but can i go somewhere else and do that like you know right like why does it need to be why i gotta be in the club but i did you know and it was just different things even with like parties and stuff like i just i would be okay at a kickback because then i could just sit down on the couch but i ain't got it i don't have to indulge in all of the extra stuff yeah so like i went from like oh i'm partying doo -doo -doo -doo. then it was like oh well, we that was when kickbacks became a thing and so oh were well, you gonna go to this this kickback not that there was you know it was still drinking it was still all the all of the things but it was so much of an easy thing because now i'm around people that know like hey 
she not gonna Tiff not gonna drink if she don't feel like drinking. Mm. Like don't give Tiff like nah don't give Tiff that. Like so it was almost like people knew or people like, hey, if you don't come correct, Tiff ain't gonna talk to you. Like you had to come a certain way. Like so it was almost kinda like people knew I didn't really fit in those environments. Mm. But I was still trying to, I just wanted to hang with the people. Like, I was just really trying to hang. But then eventually I was like, okay, I'm really not, like, I really am not fitting into this. I think my, most of my circle was mainly family, which I will always fit in, or a person in music. So I always felt like when I look back, that was a trap. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it, like if I had to keep it well, on, you did because if like, you would talk about yeah. like how I'm around stars and 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 entertainers, and that for me was nothing. Like that that for me didn't tickle my fancy. It's crazy because like, <laughs> and then I, if it was you, you'd probably be all in. No, nah, because uh, I've opened up with Twister. I've opened up. I, I've met Twister. I've met uh, Low Flip. I've met uh, uh, these. Damn, know who some of these? Y'all don't know who. Don't know if you're young is. and you're watching this, yeah. you don't know who these people are. Who now? No, stop. <laughs> uh, I, I, we, we, I've, I've opened up for uh, MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. Just gives nobody. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly, and and I, I've met some heavy hitters, but where I'm from, I always seen them as like competition, like. Yeah, it's like I want to take your head off type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. And then that's yeah. time I'm like, man, y'all just got more money than me. Y'all got the same problems. <laughs> Ain't nothing different. Sure. Like sitting in the same room, and you got somebody sitting here, you having a conversation. But you like you you you've been around some heavy hitters, like music soul child, like it, it, like stuff like that. But we won't go down there. But listen, so. <laughs> You want to name? Yeah, I wasn't trying to name. Y'all. <laughs> you know, I got to name. You know, I know you every time. Yeah. Every time. Um, so, as we close, people like they closing already. Yeah, we say yeah, stuff, man. Um, what can you give the people who? Because I know it, it, it's a crossroad, especially now. Oh yeah, especially now. Like I feel like people playing double dutch every day, all day. And Russian roulette with their life all in the same all breath. Time. Like it's all like time. they're playing double dutch and they're just spinning that barrel and they're just Man. like and we wanna give y'all some um some last minute final thought type stuff to help you either choose cause you're gonna choose one master mm-hmm. regardless of the situation. I don't care what the world tell you. Mm-hmm. Is God or the devil? Always, every time. And 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 at the end of the day, I know the most difficult thing is to believe in something that you can't see. Yeah. So, my wife is going to give you some. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna give you something, and then I'm gonna give you something. And then we're gonna. And then we're gonna close out. Yeah, we definitely. I, I know you got something. You, <laughs> we did FCA. Oh, <laughs> you funny. Um. I think the main thing is when you will be okay with one being different and not being a part of the in crowd. That's good. Because had I known that I didn't have to be a part of the in crowd, then I think life would have been a little bit easier. Like the, the women that I spent time with last weekend, like I didn't have to, you know, I have to go in there and be, oh, I'm holier than now. Like I was literally myself mm. and it was the it was a uh like they've seen all versions of me. Like I said, from little bitty Tiff to the adult married with kids Tiff. And it's being comfortable where you are and being comfortable in your skin. But also to finding people or surrounding yourself with people who get it. Yeah. Like, you know, like they were talking because I had to make it known like, hey, you know, our classroom reunion stuff is in the club. So even if I did have time to go, 
I don't do clubs. Right. I, I'm not, I don't step foot. Like I and I I said it. I was like, hey, I was like, I don't do clubs. Um, I don't go in them for any kind of reason. I don't care if it's a meet and greet, whatever. <laughs> I don't do clubs. And then I I definitely you know I don't drink. I was like, but I will take out some some gummy bears. Give me some Albanese gummy bears and I will eat them. Not Ooh. soaked in anything, but just give me some gummy bears and some gummy worms. And we we good. Um, but like I was comfortable saying that to them. Mm-hmm. Where I can stand firm and say this is where I am, but it eleven years from the, from now, eleven years ago rather, I wouldn't have been that bold to be like, nah, that ain't. I'm like, all right, well, let's roll. Ooh. Just because, oh, this is a twenty, like this is just this is a twenty year reunion. Yeah, we should go. Like you hear, that's all everybody talking about right now is reunions, reunions, reunions. No, I didn't go because it's in a club. If it was somewhere else, maybe I would consider, but is really being bold and standing where you are. If you don't want to do something that everybody else is doing, say so. You don't have to do it because they are all doing it. And that is the main part that I think no matter whether you are a young child, whether you are preteen, teenager, what young adult or you mm. old in this thing yeah you do not have to do what everybody else is doing you do not have to follow the trend or follow the fad because there is a right there is a wrong and it is and i keep saying that it's so simple but it, it really is just a choice because you you know if you already know what's right and what's wrong you already know what side you should be on yeah that was like almost bars. Yeah. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. But that's kind of how I look at it now. Because even though back then I knew what was right and I knew what was wrong, I knew when I was going too far and I had to pull back. So surely you that are watching this, you also know uh, I'm, I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing or I've gone way too far and I know what I need to do to turn this around. Like that's that point. And that's the part that you got to take note of is the part where you can admit and identify the areas where you need work on and fix it. Yeah. And having people that support you and understand like you got to do this. Like you don't have to you don't have to do this and everybody's not going to be cool with it. Everybody not going to like it. Everybody, you know, they're going to probably call you. I was called all kind of names. But at the end of the day, I knew I knew what was right. I knew what was wrong. And then I had to kind of really look and say what side is going to get me where I need to be in life. Mm-hmm. If I wanted a I mean, and I'll go a little bit further. if I want it a husband if i wanted children back then i had to look and make that decision because if i was still in the life of sin yeah i wouldn't even be did, did right here nah like it would be something totally different you talking about like this right here we like we, we i wouldn't be podcasting if i was in the, uh, if i was in the I world in my life i wouldn't be here like. no like if i was i mean well i'll be honest but had i not made the choice that i made being that because it was still good and bad. Like if we like if we really let out, it was either okay, do I stay with this foolishness right here? Or do I do what I know I need to do and quit playing around? Yeah. So that's that's what I mean. The <clears throat> life that I have right now, not necessarily like, you know, you we probably be clubbing together somewhere. Um, but not necessarily having the life that we have right now if we both were still choosing the life of sin the darkness we wouldn't have what all we have right now nah not at all not even close to it that's what i'm saying like we wouldn't we wouldn't have i think i think we we probably would have we probably would have had more but it'd just be illegally but i'm saying like <laughs> but what i'm saying is like and I know it's the closing because I want people to understand. Um, God can bless you and the devil can bless you too. Yeah. But that's why I said it'd be, I call it illegal because yeah. you're getting it the wrong way. I'd probably change my life around that way. <laughs> <laughs> I dealing with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, good. I yeah. mean, and that's, that's really, that's that point. It's just like, 
wholeheartedly, I think this is where I see so many young people and it's like, Ugh. and it's, it's really like, I think us reading that book, that spiritual warfare book. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Um, By Tony Evans, yeah. It, I'll put it in the uh, uh, description, uh, the book that we are actually reading. And uh, that's why I say I think, that's why I feel like it's so easy. I, I think, I, I think I'm... That. I'm about I'm I'm about close to wrapping that book up, but it's definitely a good book. It makes you think. Like I don't want to read too fast. Like I'm reading it, but I don't want to read it way too fast where I'm finished. So like yeah, like I'm literally soaking. I'm gonna it give in it a few reads honestly. and and applying, and yeah. that's why I can say it is it is that easy. Of is right is wrong. Now what are you gonna do? You gonna keep doing wrong? You gonna keep doing right? Yeah. But it it is really wholeheartedly not following your friends or the people that you think are your friends because they gonna follow the world because you just got people that are like that well this is friends and family yeah and that def oh definitely that too <laughs> all of uh, the above i'm gonna bring it around by saying this and listen to me good and this is what i will say and this will be the separation of why you should choose because you 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 uh you made that statement earlier mm -hmm. choose and then also remember in the bible how it speaks choose ye this day who you're going to serve mm -hmm. basically um one thing i would tell you and i believe anybody who was once in the world and now decided okay I'm done with that and I just want to live for God and be sold out. One thing we were, we were conceited in our sin. Mm -hmm. And when you are conceited in your sin, it's difficult to make that turn. It's difficult. One of the most difficult things to do, but it's not difficult. The only reason why it's difficult to serve God is because you're doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why it makes it difficult is because you're selfish. Mm -hmm. You don't want to say that because you could be saying, hey, listen, I'm doing this, I'm doing X, Y, Z, but you're selfish. This life, if you read in the book, Genesis the Revelation that talks about Jesus. The Bible is such a uh, a, uh, a, a a great a great source of information, and you know my wife was talking earlier about you know your surroundings. You got to get with the right people that will pull you from that place. Mm -hmm. Accountability is one of the most greatest tools God has ever put on this earth. Communication is one of the most greatest tools God has ever put on this planet. Mm -hmm. So the reason why, only thing I would say, it, it, it's challenging and it's difficult when you want to do you. Mm -hmm. It's the only reason why. That's it. So, um, don't be conceited in your sin. Sin will take you way further than you want to be. Than you ever <laughs> want to be. And then it'll keep you longer. It will. Than you ever want to stay. So, I'm Mo. And I'm Tiff. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> you ain't, ain't going to do the your closer? Oh, I, oh. Wow. You go ahead. We, I'm, you go. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. And before you go, watch to the end because this video, this next video is for you. We love you. <laughs> what? <laughs> we out, y'all. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, can you repeat this prayer with me? Here I am, Lord. I laid all down at your feet and I repent of every sin that I've committed knowingly and unknowingly. Father, I truly need you. So I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, that I may be saved. And Father, I ask God that you will fill me up as I empty myself, and I ask that you will show me your ways. 
In Jesus' name, amen.